welcome to the insightful session of Studio Talk by CIO and Leader. So as we are gearing up with our 26th annual conference, the CIO and Leaders, we have with us Mr. Ajay Kaul from AMD. Hello, sir. Welcome Hi. to the Studio Talk. Thank you very much yeah. for calling me. I would request me. you to give a quick introduction of yourself. I'm Ajay Kaul. I'm the country lead for BFSI and the regional head for Western region. It's about 19 years I have been with AMD. Where from 2008 till date, so continue to ride on that. As an industry leader, how do you view the current state of AI infrastructure across enterprises? I think uh, uh, it's a very broad term, so but uh, it's just started. To be honest, I don't think so. We are ready with uh, our enterprises ready with the, with the kind of infrastructure they look for. Of course, there are alternatives uh, which they are looking at. Uh, but as long term, uh, you know, we still see there's a lot of scope for them to really work to reach to the readiness uh, state. So it's going to be a journey. It's not going to be you know, happening overnight or, an, or a month's time because there are a lot of dependencies. Mm -hmm. So hence, I think it's going to take a bit of a time. So readiness as of now, I don't think so. It's, it's, uh, it's done. It's there right now, yeah. Could you please show the AI roadmap as well as the strategic vision of your company? Uh, there is a lot of focus uh, for AMD on AI. Uh, more importantly, uh, one definitely is from the hardware side, which is over GPUs. But the other important aspect of that is the software, which is the middle layer, which is very much required for the AI journey for enterprise or any customer who is looking for. So we're working continuously on that. There's a lot of big team now. We have bought in close to about 20 odd plus companies which are into AI. So we have acquired them. The whole idea is to bring the new generation products into the market uh, and every time we have a new generation coming up uh, it's not an incremental uh, performance improvement it's substantially very high performance improvements both on the software as well as the hardware side so it's going to be a great journey and we are poised to grow into that segment so, sir what would be your advice to all the cios as well as to all the coming the upcoming it leaders uh, like who are aiming to escalate and scale their uh, IT initiative effectively? Uh, so my advice would be, uh, it's, a, it's a very wide spectrum of uh, usage or a use case in AI. So look for products which are uh, meant for the particular use case. It's not one jacket filling. Uh, also, uh, I would say uh, the variety of use cases what we have seen and the kind of products which you might have to use it's among us. So uh, you have to choose the right fit for what you are going to use it for. That's one important uh, area. Second, I would say it should be more open uh, ecosystem because uh, I think uh, times and again it has been proved that uh, if you have a proprietary setup or a proprietary software we are mm -hmm. using, uh, enterprise have paid a lot of price in the past as well. Uh, so it's good to, it's, it's a journey starting. So it's better to have open ecosystem, have multiple options, look for multiple choices, have broader platforms to be certified or tested and tried. Uh, and if you have that, I think that will also help you guys uh, to, uh, you know, while your power requirements are going to stay on your sustainability goals, because uh, AI is all about eating a lot of power as well, you know, from the hardware perspective. Uh, and when you have it on prem, so there's it's, it's a lot of requirement which happens on, it adds a lot of cost, running cost. So you, if you look for multiple options, multiple choices, uh, it will help you as an organization to hit your sustainability goals at the same time. Correct, correct. Thank you so much. Thank you for the insightful. Thank session. you.